One of the important things that you need to do when you're doing laser cutting is make sure that you correctly set this distance from the laser to your workpiece. In other words, this distance needs to be set correctly. If the distance is too high or too low, your laser will be out of focus and the laser point that is actually burning will be bigger than what it needs to be. The bigger the point is, of course, the wider your cut will be, which is mostly not what you want, but equally important, the energy density will be lower. And the higher the energy density is, the better the laser will cut. So it's a matter of setting the correct distance. Now, how do we do that? Now, first, let's have a look how we would normally do a tool touch off when we do normal standard milling work. So we would use some kind of touch off plate. I will activate the touch off sequence. Let it do its work. And when the touch off is finished, the script will always retract the tool a certain distance. And that distance is always the same. That means that the tip of the tool, the distance between the tip of the tool and the work surface, no matter what tool you use, will always be the same. And we can use that to our advantage. And I will tell you how. Now with the previous demonstration in mind, let's try to find a work method that allows you to always set your laser at the correct height above your workpiece without having to do the calibration over and over again. On the Oplaser website and also on their YouTube channel, they describe a procedure that you can follow to calibrate the Z height of your laser, making sure that the laser is focused in its smallest point possible. I will not demonstrate the method here because it is really straightforward, but let's assume that I've done that procedure and that the laser is now at the absolute correct point above this piece of um, plywood. What I will do now is check the machine coordinates and see where the laser is in relation to the Z axis. And I find that the machine coordinate for the Z axis is now minus 181.77 and I will make a note of that. Minus 181.77. The next thing that we can do is do a tool touch off from a point that is in a fixed relationship to the laser itself. An example will be the bottom of this thread here. So let's do now a tool touch off from this fixed point. And now I can also note the Z coordinate at which the Z axis is now. And I find that it is at minus 179.335. That means that after doing the tool touch off like this, the Z axis retracts to a point that is slightly higher than where the Z axis was when the laser was correctly focused and I can calculate the difference in height and I find approximately 2.45 millimeters. That means that I only need to remember this number 2.45. Every time from now on when I put a new piece of stock under my laser cutter I can just do the tool touch off here and after the tool touch I lower the Z axis by 2.45 millimeters and the laser will be in exact focus. And you will see me doing that when I do an actual laser cutting example later on. So let's do this actual cut. So I already started up Mach 3. I switched down the CNC and I positioned it over the piece of stock. I zeroed the X and the Y coordinate but I still have to set the laser at the correct distance from the workpiece. I also loaded up the tool path that we just calculated, so we will go from here. The first thing to do is to set the correct Z distance. And I will do that according to the procedure I described below. I will reposition this thread over the tool touch off. I will activate the tool touch off. 
And now I know that, as explained before, the z-axis is actually 2.45 millimeters too high. It needs to go down by 2.45 millimeters and then the laser head will be positioned where I need it to be. So what I do here is in Mach 3 I will force the z value to be 2.45 and as soon as I hit go to zero now, of course the x and the y axis will go back to zero and the z axis will lower by 2.45 millimeters, bringing the laser exactly where it needs to be. So for safety reasons I will remove the um, touch of place and I will hit go to zero. I will regenerate the toolpath and the only thing now left to do is to switch on the laser. That is done by turning the key. This LED indicates the power is now on. It's not yet armed. I hit the red button. The laser arms. At the same time you hear the fan starting to blow. And now if everything is well, if we hit cycle start, the laser will start doing its thing. Remember to wear your eye protection. That's always important, but especially so when working with high energy lasers. And I will hit cycle start. So that concludes a series of uh, introduction videos on laser cutting. I hope you found the information useful. Next I will dive into PCB making and that will be my inspiration for my next videos that are coming up. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.